Hey, what's going on guys? This is William Idell again with The Creative Call, and this is another daily vlog. All right guys, so I'm back again. It's been a while since I vlogged, uh, but before we get started, you do me a favor and go follow me on Instagram at Mr. Mydell and William Mydell, or Will Mydell. And um, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on my latest vlogs. Uh, so today uh, on my vlog, I'm gonna be talking about my latest photo shoot that I did uh, with the Old Navy clothing and the Disney characters. A lot of people have been asking me about how I created that and also why did I go about doing it for us uh, conceptually? How did I come up with the concept? Well, first of all, when you're, you're planning on doing a shoot like this, um, I, I guess I'll put the images up for those who haven't seen it, uh, images on my Instagram or my Facebook. Um, when, you're, when you're getting into the process of creating something like this, uh, one, the first thing you want to do is prepare. Um, you want to create some type of uh, mood board or have a concept in mind of like how you want to go about doing it. When I, when I when I came up with the idea of me wanting to play around with you know these Disney characters, um, I didn't know what cartoon I wanted to use because as as a big kid, my, speaking as a big kid, I love not just Disney characters, um, but I love Hanna Barbera characters. I love anime characters. Um, I love characters like Transformers, Voltron, so I was trying to pick a company that had a, 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 a huge, you know, variety of characters I can use. So if I was going to be using a clothing brand and I didn't want to just be like stuck with maybe two or three of my favorite characters, you know, I wanted a, a brand that had a lot of characters I can choose from. And Disney was kind of close to the top. They have a lot of characters besides like Hanna-Barbera. So um, second, um, what I had to do was do my research. You know, I had to scour the internet. And what a lot of people don't know is I had those images, uh, those vector files, uh, PNG files, on my hard drive for probably close to three to four months. I've already been looking for those images. There were a couple of characters in the shoot that I found um, prior, like maybe a week prior to the shoot that I didn't have on my hard drive already. But the majority of them, I've already researched the web and, and tried to find them because I wanted them to be high end. I wanted the resolution to be high. I didn't want it to be a low resolution because I knew I was shooting with a high resolution camera. Therefore, it needed to match, you know, what I was shooting. So once I had the images stored, you know, next thing I, I had to do was, like, okay, what did I want to wear? And when I bought those clothing from uh, Old Navy, I think it was around the 4th of July weekend. And I was going to do it the 4th of July weekend because the clothing was kind of like, you know, summary barbecue-ish and uh, I was just going to do like maybe some uh just colorful backdrops you know and me just doing like random stuff like if I was out in the yard but you know the Disney characters came to mind I was like you know what I think I'm gonna just integrate those um third what I had to do is decide what color scheme I want to go with as far as the backdrop and since I was leaning you know away from just ordering a bunch of color backdrops I just decided to get some um, some plywood from Lowe's and just paint it and I think I had like maybe one I had like maybe four sheets but I just decided to paint two uh, one that would be in the back of me and one on the floor and that's all I used was two two sheets of uh, plywood and um, since I had like four in my office, four or six of them, I painted one with, I think, purple on one side and green on the other uh, for two, seeing that I was going to have one behind me and one on the floor. And then the other one I had was white, and that was my three colors. Uh, oh, uh, green also, four colors, excuse me. So, um, and I had a, a spray, spray paint gun that I bought from Lowe's because I got tired of using a brush and I wanted it to be quick if I was just going to be running through it. So I painted the backdrops and uh, I had it set up the day before, you know, I did the shoot. I didn't want to do everything the exact same night. So I had my backdrops painted, I had my wardrobe picked, 
I had my images already saved on my computer. So all I had to do was just do the shoot. I mean, I had everything already lined up. And this is kind of what you want to do when it comes to concept photography or commercial photography. You need to have things already prepared. So when the final image comes out, you know, it, it leaves a last, a long lasting statement and it just leaves everyone in shock and awe. Cause one, a lot of those characters, you know, a lot of people grew up loving as well, you know, as kids, you know, I read some of the comments on my Facebook and, you know, there are a lot of people like, wow, well, I wish I would, did the Care Bears and, you know, I know a guy who was like, man, you should do it like uh, Tony the Tiger, you know, so when you do something like that and you post it online, it, it brings out everyone's inner child, you know, and it, it has them thinking like, man, I wish I, I, I could have been out there doing something, you know, with my favorite characters. And that was the whole purpose of the shoot, you know, is to add some positivity and some some joy and laughter in the people's lives, especially in a time like right now with this pandemic going on. So. Uh, the day of the shoot, you know, I just had my, my wardrobe light, light out, you know, laid out. Um, and the easy part was just getting in the character. That was a no brainer for me. I mean, anybody knows me, I can get in the, you know, character for anybody. I mean, that's, that's the, I think fourth or the fifth part we're on right now is selling the image, you know? So I didn't know what characters I was going to use, you know, with each image, with each, with each wardrobe change, I did not know what character I was going to stick in the image, you know. But on my end, what I what I what I know I needed to do was just to get in the character when I was shooting. And if you watch a lot of cartoons, if you grew up watching cartoons, you should know. Okay, you gonna have some, ah, some, some, ah, some ah. you got. I mean, that all that's part of acting. You know, you need to know uh, the facial expressions of Bugs Bunny and. You know, log, 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 log horn, fog horn, what is it? The big rooster dude. You know, the skunk, the cat, Daffy, you know. I mean, and if you can't think of it, just go on YouTube or just download, you know, or go on Netflix and just watch a couple of episodes, you know. Uh, I didn't need to do all that because, I mean, it's, uh, it's easy for me to get into character. I've been doing it for so long, so I could just jump in there. And, you know, if you know these characters are going to be swinging at each other, running, chasing each other, hiding ducking and all that you should know that already so it should be easy just to jump into it so with each wardrobe change i just did that you know i just jumped and i act like i was carrying someone and i act like i was hugging someone and you know shaking someone's hand and running from someone as they were chasing me and i know i want to use some of the females like you know daisy and uh minnie so i want to be you know, in a more casual fitting as far as like purple or pink, like I was going on a date with one of them or trying to ask one of them out. So, you know, and then I knew the other guys like Bugs, he's a jokester and a trickster. I want to do some funny stuff with that. So those things you need to go in, you know, you need to have in mind going into the shoot, you know, it'll make life more easy. Once you sit down in post-production and start putting these things together, you know, okay, I know I'm gonna add this person with this, I'm gonna add this person with that. Which brings me to part five, you know, post-production. So when I sat down and captured one, you know, I scrolled through all my images and looked through all of them and looked through all of them. And I tried to pick out the ones that stood out to me the most. And I would bring them into um, Photoshop. And what I did is that I cropped every image to the size that Instagram allows for portraits, which I think is like 13, 50 by 1080 or something like that. I didn't want it. I knew I didn't want it to be square and I, I didn't want it to be fully vertical because if you post it on Instagram, they're going to crop it. So I, I went and cropped it myself ahead of time so that I knew when I posted, I didn't have to resize anything. So that's a good tool to know if you're going to be posting on Instagram is just to go ahead and pre-crop your images before you start retouching to the size that um, it's, it's, it's recommending. So when you post it, it'll be, you know, a, a, a automatic fit. And it made life more easy for me when it came to retouching because I already had my crop size fit. So when I added myself, I just had to find a, a spot for the character to, to go and extend the background because the background that I use as far as the wood was so thin, I already knew I was gonna have to, you know, stretch it out. So uh, that's post-production. And once I did that and Find the, found the right image uh, characters that I wanted to mesh with myself. You know, all, all that was left was color grading and 
taking it back to capture raw and maybe add some sharpness to it and maybe adjusting the curves um then posting it online and that was that you know i i, I actually plan on doing more like this and i might do another set with Hanna Barbera characters, I might do one with you know, um, you know, like anime characters, you know, like maybe out of Naruto universe or Dragon Ball universe, you know. I never know, and I just like doing things like this to keep my skill set sharp. Also, to pitch to companies to let them know that you know uh, we here at the Creative Core have the capability to uh, produce and create commercial style imagery that they may want to use for their advertising and marketing. For, for new clothing that are they're launching for the fall or spring lineup. And that's what you do as a creative to keep your, your skill set sharp, your mind thinking all the time, and um and keep you creative all the time. So that's my vlog for the day, short and sweet. Uh, I just want to let you guys know how I went by doing that. Uh look forward to seeing more. Um, um I'm using a new light right now. I think I'm gonna do uh uh video on that and as far as my vlogs i think i'm gonna use this setup right here which is in my office also but it's a little more um personal and i, I think i like this setup what you guys think leave in the comments what you guys think of this setup and um i'm probably gonna make some adjustments to it probably add another light over here and maybe a boom mic um i have a, a commercial to shoot for a client in the next few weeks and i'm ordering some more equipment so the equipment I'm ordering, I'll probably be using in this setup as well. So you'll be seeing that also. And I'm gonna try to get back into doing more videos. I, I, I say that every time I post a video, but it's, it's just, I'm busy, very busy. You know, trying to create and build a business and work a full-time job is like very taxing. Um, but I appreciate, appreciate the followers and subscribers I do have on my channel. And I thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Um, don't forget, to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook if you're in, if you're in the Facebook. All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you again on the next video.